Hey, welcome. Bienvenidos. Welcome to Baghdad. Thank you, Thank so you much. for having us. Yeah. We're so excited that you're here today. We're going to surprise you to start. We have a surprise for you guys. Um, and then we're going to go check out some of the programming that, that makes Baghdad unique and special. We um, had Adopt a Wall for oh, Black wow. History Month. This was, you know, one of the examples of things that we do to celebrate um, diversity mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. you know, all of the great things that we have to offer as a diverse culture here at Baghdad. And one of those examples is our surprise oh, for you guys. Oh, thank you. Hola, wow. buenos Good dias. Wow. Buenos dias. This group started uh, as an after-school program as a way to uh, give an outlet for our students to represent their culture, to learn more about their culture, and to teach others about their culture. Um, it kind of turned into a way to bridge all of the different cultures that we have on our campus because we had so many students outside of the Hispanic community that wanted mm -hmm. to join and learn more. Mm -hmm. um, and I it's love given, that. yes, absolutely. <laughs> and it's given our students also outside of dance. Uh, it's made them more confident to you know, do better academically. Um, we see their scores impacted, um, not just here, but like in the classroom as well. That's where we're at. <laughs> so it's an avenue for engagement. Thank you, yes. Yeah. This is my culture, um, and I love dancing my culture a lot. Oh, well, that's beautiful, baby girl. Thank you. ¿Te gusta venir aquí a la escuela en Bagdad? ¿Por qué te gusta? Porque aprendo más. Te aprende, aprendes más. One way means that all of the students in this uh, program are native speakers. Um, so they, they do come with a strong Spanish background. Go get with your bilingual pair. You can pick a spot in the room, and I want you to show me the equation. I heard you now just talking about bilingual pairs. What does that mean? Okay, so bilingual pairs, we usually have them pair up with uh, somebody that's maybe stronger in their first language, like Spanish or English. So we try to see which kids are stronger in, like let's say if it's Spanish, then I pair them up with somebody that's English, and so that way they're able to help each other. So like, if I say something they have to agree, it's what we're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> so, so someone picks the language they're comfortable with for the day, and either way you help each other out. Well, it's no. because she only speaks Spanish and she came from Mexico. Oh, so okay. She, she doesn't understand. Oh, okay. Oh, I was telling him what strategy was he going to use. Oh, you were telling him a strategy that he could use. Did you find that helpful? Yes. Yeah, good, excellent. You guys make a good team. What is the date today? Do you remember? Awesome, good job. Yes. Is it every grade level into a language that we switch back and forth with? for English and Spanish for language arts? Or is that only in some groups? <clears throat> right now, the way that the model is, is from second grade through fifth grade that they start to do both language arts in English and Spanish. The way that we have the model right now is kindergarten and first grade. The students are split in the two-way program, so they get split for language arts. So if you are, uh, your first language is English, you get split to just learning English language arts. And if your first language is Spanish, then you are just in the Spanish language arts. And then you mix up for or math, which is done in English, and science, which is done in Spanish. Um, and that's when you have the mixture of the students, and that's where they learn from each other. What are you guys working on? Um, counting. Counting? Counting. Oh, okay. I have 21. If you talk to some of them or listened as they were speaking with their friends, you may have heard a lot of switching back and forth between English and Spanish. And the, the translanguaging, as, as we refer to it, right? That's where even though the instruction is in English in the dual language program, the students are encouraged to talk about the curriculum and instruction and to support each other in whatever language they feel most comfortable in. Um, and also in those classrooms, like that's where we see the beauty of the, the diversity is really full in effect there. We really see students from all sorts of, of backgrounds because now we have students that are opting in and do not have a background in the Spanish language. So that's pretty exciting as it, as it comes up. Thank you. Thank you.